Hello, and welcome to Raleigh Winter News. I'm Carter. And I'm Michael. Today is Wednesday. This week, Raleigh students can be looking forward to the first floor on the roof. Let's go up to Henry and Alexis for a look at next week's weather. Hello, I'm Henry. And I'm Javon, sitting in for Alexis. In weather, it looks like it's going to be a pretty sunny week for some people next week. I hope everyone gets outside. Alexis and Henry with a weather report. Next up, we have a story about PE teacher. Let's go to Michael and Alexis for this story. Hello, I'm Michael. And I'm Alexis. Coming to you with a story about PE. We are here today to tell today talk about the new team teacher. This is an important issue for Raleigh because Mr. Lampy is gone. Our new gym teacher, are you going to stay here for the year? Good question. Uh, we will see. I'll keep my options open. Do you have plans for the kids? Um, lots of plans, lots of fun ideas, lots of new games, and maybe some games you've played before. I know I'm looking forward to starting to play badminton next. Are the kids going to play special activities like dodgeball and many fun games like that? Yes, dodgeball is one of my favorites, and I like different variations of dodgeball, too. That's all for the no. Rally News. Back to you. <laughs> Back to you. All right, next we have a story about art. Let's go to Lorelai and Eve for a story. Hello, I'm Lorelai, and this is Eve coming to you with a story about art. We are here today. We are talking about the art projects. Rolly kids are happy to have art this year. With our new teacher, Miss Fredrickson, we have been working on all kinds of different projects. We always wonder about what others classes have done for art. Hello, I'm Lorelai, and this is Eve here to interview John Paul today. Um, John Paul, what what do you like about art this year at Raleigh? I like painting because we get to use SpongeBob to dry our brush off, and I think that's really fun. When you're done with your project, what sort of extra art do you do? Well, I usually free draw, but what I draw depends on what I feel like doing. Thank you, John Paul. We hope you have a, a nice day. You're welcome. Thanks, Laura and Eve. Next, we have a story about Valentine's Day. Let's go to Phoebe and Lindsay for this story. And I'm Lindsay, coming to you with a story about Valentine's Day. This is an exciting event for all these students because probably most of the kids are having a Valentine's Day party. The fourth graders are planning to make marshmallow catapults. The second graders are doing math and science with candy hearts. And the fifth graders are, doing, are going to the LO Deputy Fire Marshal Bill Chopsky. That's all, back to you. Hi, I'm Phoebe, interviewing Miss Steed, the second grade teacher. Um, we were wondering what you were doing with your, with your second graders for Valentine's Day. Well, I'm so glad you came to interview today, me today and ask about that. We had a really, really fun Valentine's Day yesterday. We started off in the morning getting everything all organized and we colored. We did some word finds and we made some crafts. We made some bumblebees and puppies, which was fun. And we made them into Valentine's cards. 
And then in the afternoon, we did a science experiment with candy hearts and we used water, pop and vinegar to see a sink or float challenge to see if the candy hearts were sinking or floating. And it was really, really cool. We found out some cool things. So if you get a chance to do that experiment sometime, you should do it. It was awesome. And then we ended our day in math with a candy hearts graphing activity. So we each had a handful of candy hearts and we sorted the blue ones and the yellow ones and the white ones and the pink ones. And then we made tally marks and then we put them on a bar graph and charted all of them. So it was a really fun math activity that involved candy and math and learning. So, and then we also had our Valentine's party too, which was super fun. And the kids um, ate a lot of candy and maybe had a sugar rush. We played outside because we were super hyper. It was lots of fun. Well, thanks for letting me interview. Thank you. And next, we have a story about the biggest classroom in the school, the Slammer Lens classroom. Let's go to Tanner for a story. Hello, I'm Tanner coming to you with a story about the fourth grade super classroom. This is an important issue for Raleigh because it's really big and cool. We have a lot of teachers and a bunch of kids in our class. The teachers are Mr. Thomas, Mrs. Lambert, and Ms. Peters, and they are really helpful and kind. It's the biggest classroom in the school. That's all for now. Back to you. Hello, and welcome to Raleigh, Raleigh News. Today we are talking with Ms. Lambert. So today, how is it, how is it working in a big classroom? It's going very nicely. We have a lot of good stuff happening in here. Um, we have a lot of good um, learning happening. Kids are growing their brains. It's going really good. And what's what? What is your favorite thing? Oh, my favorite thing is getting to know more more kids than in a typical classroom, because their personalities are just so fun to see how they interact with one another and just getting to know the kids. Um, and I also like that how compassionate they are toward one another and how they help each other and challenge each other and they help each other's brains grow and then of course having mr thomas in here that's pretty awesome too thank you very much Ms. Lambert. oh you're very welcome that's all for today bye and that's all for news for this week thanks for tuning on rally news we'll see you all next time have a great day